This segment of Packer Pokes At was made possible by patrons of the show and viewers like you. Please go to patreon.com slash Packard Pokes At to help support the show. Thank you. Over in Louisiana, Bobby Jindal is going balls to the walls when it comes to religious freedoms. So he thinks. The bill that was died in pretty much died in Indiana and in uh, uh, Arkansas when they governors there decided to pull back a little bit after they got a little beat down from all these big corporations that they've been funneling money to IBM which is one of the largest tech industries in the business and it's and then globally has come down on Bobby Jindal and says hey this new law that you want to push into the into our government we don't like that because it's going to be very discriminatory. And Bobby General, he doesn't fucking care. Uh, he, 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 he thinks that, think that this bill won't be discriminatory. Unfortunately, the law that he wants to push in is HB 707. State Executive Jason Dessery wrote directly to Governor General saying that IBM has made significant investments in Louisiana, including those most recently in a technology services delivered uh, center in Baton Rouge, creating a new jobs for the Louisiana workers. And it says, however, a bill that legally protects discrimination based on same-sex marriage status will create a hostile environment for our current and prospective employees and is antithetical, antithetical, ah, I can't say it, antithetical, 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 thank you, mm -hmm. is antithetical to our company's values. IBM will find it much harder to attract talent to Louisiana if this bill is passed and enacted into law. It goes back in here. The Louisiana Marriage and Consensus Act will absolutely, this is what he says, will absolutely not protect discrimination or legalize discrimination in any way, which is total bullshit. The truth of the bill is the Human Rights Campaign, who says that the law would not only affect LGBT people, but it was also, in fact, other uh, impact other couples. The bill permits discrimination against interfaith marriages, interracial couples, and not just gay and transgender community, said Sarah Jane Brandley, executive director of HRC's Forum for Equality. Kind of your thoughts. Well, previously I have quoted Luke 6 and Mark 5 with uh, Jesus' instructions to uh, his followers on how to be a good witness, you know, how to the, the world in general, and it's by being a servant. So I'm going to move on to 1 Corinthians chapters 8 through 10. I won't go through them all. Know that in chapter 9, uh, Paul is talking about how to win non-believers, and it's by giving up one's rights out of love for others and the sake of your faith. Um, the uh, One of the deans at Baylor Truett University, David Garland, said, how can you witness to someone whom you will not serve? Right. Uh, not just condone, but to serve without condoning. You know, it just just to go ahead. And uh, the New Testament is as much about the church, how the church should conduct themselves to protect each other when weakness is shown, and how to witness to a broader world by being a servant, as Christ was a servant. And dominionists and fundies will don't understand that. They will never understand that because they want to be soldiers for Christ and not servants. And the bakers and the florists and the jindals of the world are more like Pharisees than they are Christ. Yeah. And uh, you know the the instructions is to if they you know if they want to have your coat and sue you for your coat, you give them your shirt also, and you don't you don't fight back. You just serve them, and it's okay. Paul even, you know, say again, Paul says, look, it, you know, if you eat the meat that's offered to idols, you're sitting down with somebody and, the, and you know, it's, they're, they're Greek, they're not a believer, then what you do, you eat the meat. Mm -hmm. And you don't worry about that because this is not what, you know, you're, you're winning them with love. Right. So uh, they're ignoring everything. And I'm just like, I can't believe, I, I don't know. Uh, so... Uh, way to get it wrong, Jindal. You know, I'm not yeah. a believer anymore, but th that's what you're supposed to be doing. Yeah, we and, had a comment from my, my uh, producer here. Uh, mm -hmm. She said, uh, you can have religious freedom as long as you're Christian, straight, and white. Which mm -hmm. is, uh, oh, I forgot one piece, male. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have anything else you want to add on that, Connie? Oh, no, that's that's everything tonight. Okay, very good. Joe, your thoughts? Bobby Jindal is not white. 
Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> he thinks he is. He thinks he's. He, he thinks he is. You know. So. <clears throat> now, uh, I think it's really cool that uh, large corporations, uh, a lot of tech companies, are speaking out to these states and telling them, "Hey, listen, if you're going to discriminate against gay people or against marriage equality, we're going to be less interested in doing business with your state." Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. that's like a huge. I mean. That's huge with Republican politicians. They're yeah. just like, you know, yeah. we're really good at bringing business to our state uh, and we're against gay marriage. And these companies are like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, IBM is a I live in Hudson Valley, New York. IBM is a Hudson Valley company. Their headquarters is in Armonk. Uh, there's a big, big campus factory in uh, Fishkill and in Poughkeepsie. And uh they make um, all the processors for the PlayStation 3, the Xbox, mm. yep. uh, the Wii. All those were made right here in the Hudson Valley. And uh, all my life growing up, uh, I've heard adults you know, talking about, you know, so-and-so works at IBM. They got a good job. They work at IBM. And then, you know, when the economy goes to shit, oh, IBM's laying off everybody again. It was like, you know, yeah. it's like uh, Michael Moore living in Flint, Michigan with uh, General Motors. IBM is is our is our big company around here that <laughs> hires tons of people and everybody's like yeah I got a job with IBM and then they lay everybody off yeah Bo- Boeing is yeah you're yeah. Uh, yeah, you're in Seattle you got Boeing yeah uh-huh. so it's the same thing there it's like hell yeah they're uh-huh. just working for Boeing it's like ah oh, you lost a job at Boeing right. we had we had yeah. a tw- we had a tweet coming from Dawkins dog he says uh, uh, you you say gays weren't born that way so you don't deserve equal rights. You weren't born a Christian, so why should you have any either? So, yeah, I, I think another important thing to bring up is uh, it, this is Bobby Jindal. Yeah, who's trying? I mean, he's thinking... not exactly the most successful uh, governor in the states. His state mm-hmm. uh, has very high unemployment. He's coming into. Uh, I think he's trying to run for president. Yeah, he's. I don't a, know if he, he announced he or has... not, but he's been testing the waters. Yeah, he he has about as much chance. Of becoming president is I becoming a woman. I mean, literally, just while I'm sitting here. I mean, I'm not talking, you no know, going out and get surgery. I'm just talking just while I'm sitting in this chair. Like, my the, first the introduction The article says him, it was he's considering it, yeah. He, he, should, yeah, con- yeah. he should consider he, he should consider going to, you know, Florida, you know, just and just, just stay there. My first there. introduction to him was when uh, he did the Republican response after one of um, – the State of the Union addresses. Yeah. And he did that weird, awkward walk in from the corner thing. And, and he was like, hi, I'm Bobby Jindal from Louisiana. And I sat there and I was like, wow, this is really uncomfortable. Like this dude is like, just does not have the, the knack for this. No. <laughs> he, he... And so, and so now he, he's leaving the governorship and his state is not doing that well, to be honest. And he's, you know, considering going for a president, and it's like, that's not going to happen, dude. No. Like, don't, don't even fuck around. That's not happening. He has zero presidential qualities. I'm just sorry. I just, right. I'm just saying. And so on his way out the door, he's he's fucking with marriage equality. Like, like you know, he thinks that's going to help him or something, and it's like, dude, really? You know? Yeah. Who knows? Uh, last week on Tuesday, the Supreme Court heard a testimony yep. for marriage equality from four different cases from four different states. We so they seen... might rule a nationwide acceptance or dismissal of marriage equality. We yeah. don't know. Yeah, we're still waiting. Packard for that. and I are watching it intensely. We we are. <laughs> I, I'm sitting here looking at my phone, going, "Okay, have I got any new anything else come in? No, yes. I'm like every time I hear my phone go alert, it's like, oh shit, no, yeah. just no, he, he, just Christy. Pack, Pack, I want to say it on the air. Packard texts me all the time. He's like, he's like, did you hear anything yet? Did you hear anything yet? <laughs> Like, not hearing anything yet. 